guys here I am with that B&M haul that I did uh, I showed you the cushions from it but I didn't show you the rest and I want to put it away so I'm going to get on and do it today my name is Fawn this is my happy place and I go shopping a lot and I chat to friends and yeah generally just have a good time so if you like that kind of thing please do give me a thumbs up click subscribe and leave a comment so now if you remember I showed you the cushions oh but sitting on one I can't get it off him showed you these cushions that I bought in B&M which I think are lovely I like the fringe on the side and they were reduced down to I think it was five yeah five pounds each so I bought three of those and I showed you those the other day but obviously I've got a load of other stuff so I'm just going to run through it picked up some gloves for the boys this weather you know <laughs> One minute it's blowing a gale and it's freezing. The next minute it's really mild. We're not doing very well this year with this weather, are we? I wish it would make up its mind, do it for a bit, and then we can see the back of it. But anyway, I got them some gloves. I usually get gloves from B&M most years. I mean, these were two pounds for a pack of three. Um, I mean, that is really, really good. Right? You can't knit them for that. Um, I got gl the glow in the dark ones. The kids think they're funny. Uh, I got the dinosaur ones for uh, Milo so it's navy green and black they'll be good when they come down the stables they like to help <laughs> um, and they do get very cold fingers so and I picked up these ones for Levi I was really looking for some really girly colors because you know he loves girly colors but <clears throat> they didn't have any so I got him mint green a darker green and blue they can go missing and I don't care at two pounds for three packs three packs three pairs even dear dear um i picked up they were selling off a lot of their christmas chocolate i picked these up for the kids uh they're called jingle bells cabris dairy milk jingle bells chocolate noisette kids love things like this so um they were down to 79p so i picked them up a bag i'm always thinking about bits and pieces for my garden we obviously have lots of birds and things here and i picked up this it's called beekaboo and you hang it from your tree obviously and it's got all these little stands it's for small birds in this particular is it on camera um oh i think my flowers are just in front of it. there's a tree back here that we actually have um it's called a tree hopper lives in it um and we have a nest on on that tree so this is just an extra feeding thing and i've not seen this one before and i thought possibly the squirrels won't get it we do have a lot of squirrels too but so i'm going to give it a go anyway got lots of cleaning things you know how i was always buying the uh dishwasher i think it was crystal dishwasher well they seem to have stopped doing it because fabulosa have brought one out i've not tried it before this is lemon sherbet it's called i mean surely they're all much of a match and i'll, I'll give it a go and see whether it, it measures up compared to the crystal because the crystal was really good picked up two deodorants i'm deodorant obsessed finally got my hands on one of these it's the Lenore crease releaser lots of people have talked about this and I've never gone for it I've never tried it but I've had a few things just lately that have come out of hubby's wardrobe and I look at them and I just think oh they don't really need a wash and an iron but they do need a something so I thought this could be the answer so I'm going to give it a go and let you know what I think of it because it's quite pricey um I think it was 2 99 this but if it saves me having to put something through the wash and, and iron it, then it's, you know, it's well worth having, isn't it? I picked up a Vosine. I haven't seen Vosine in forever. Now, I don't really suffer from dandruff, even though this is anti-dandruff. What I do get sometimes is like a itchy scalp. I don't get dandruff in the head, but it's itchy. And then occasionally I like to use either a head and shoulders or a tea gel or a Vosine. And this just took me, it took me back. We always had this in the house when I was a kid. My dad used to get dandruff quite a bit. He was one of those people. So we always had something like this. So the minute I saw it, I was like, because oh, they do a lot of the old shampoos. And it's just got that smell. And I thought, yep, itchy scalp, definitely. I also picked up this mouthwash, chlorhexidine, anti-back mouthwash. This stuff is really expensive when I get it through my dentist. Um, and it was only a pound. I thought it was worth what? giving a whirl. See if it is. Sorry, I had to put. See if it what? is worth. Um, see if it is the equivalent. Oh God, I'm going to get my words out, aren't I? No, but please, because occasionally I get um, gum irritation. So a 
occasionally I don't use it every single day but I do use it when I'm having a spell where I've maybe you know hurt a bit of my gum or something so give it a whirl pick myself up a bathroom um for in the bath you know one of these towels oh here we go bath pillow luxury bath pillow it was only three pounds um I've got a really bad neck at the moment a really it's so painful I can't tell you and I have no idea what I've done um, and even sleeping, I sort of do this in my sleep, sort of crunch my, I don't have much of a neck anyway, but I crunch right up to try to um, protect it in the night is all I can think. I mean, it's a subconscious thing. And then I wake up and I'm in absolute agony. So I thought I'm going to have to start having some baths because that's a good way to relax. Um, so I got myself one of these to try and make, I hate baths. I, I do, I hate baths, guys they're just not for me but I you know I can see that there might be a benefit to it so I'm gonna do it <laughs> I did pick up for the baby a set of the three gloves as well but I get her the mittens she's too little yet to figure out the finger things and it drives us wild but again they were two pounds for three and I mean look how cute lovely colors little characters on them I think it's cats do you think that's a cat I think that's meant to be a little cat they're just very very cute oh yes it does say kittens no it doesn't <laughs> It says kids mittens and my brain has put that together and said kittens <laughs> oh i need a new brain i picked up some socks for the boys they are at that age now they're putting their knees through the trousers their socks don't last more than two minutes i picked up these ones for milo so it's eight pairs for 3.99 and they're these antibacterial jobbies I got black really plain and boring because that's what he has to wear at school. So these will be good school socks for him. I mean, they've got a little bit of creativity, but it's only on the sole. Um, and then I picked up for, <laughs> for Levi, again, eight for £3.99. They're girls' socks, but it's the world he lives in. So these have got unicorns and clouds, and, and I mean, they're just pretty colours. Um, he will love those, absolutely love them. We, we allow certain things, well not allow, that makes it sound like we forbid things. We don't forbid things, but, or his mum doesn't forbid things, but we try to sort of choose our battles. And quite often you can get him to dress more appropriately maybe for the occasion if he knows he's got on, you know, pretty socks or something like that. We don't buy him girls knickers or <laughs> anything like that. But it just occasionally, we don't have an issue, but people have an issue. Um, and you'll sometimes be out somewhere and you'll see people staring because, you know, there he is in his, in his you know, Elsa sweatshirt and a pair of jeans and a, and a tutu skirt. And, and it's that. It's not us. It's not, we don't care. It's, we don't want him to feel people staring at him and maybe judging. So... Um, there are occasions, I mean, school is totally, nursery, totally used to him, they, it's just not, it's a non-issue, but I mean, we've been stood waiting to go into nursery, and we've seen people staring, other parents staring, because of the way he's dressed, um, hey, 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 obviously, we could say, what do you think you're looking at, but we don't want to cause a row, if somebody said something, I mean, if somebody actually verbalize what they were thinking um then yes i mean it would be on like donkey kong but please we would so be you know who are you and you know what gives you the right to comment on what a little boy wears but so long as they keep it to themselves we don't say anything we just let it go but if we're going somewhere like a safari park or a we tend to try sorry but it's being a pain again we do try to sort of tone him down slightly just we're very worried that you know that a point is going to come when little boys are going to be saying to him why are you wearing your sister's skirt kind of thing so we persuade him with little things like pretty socks which you know people might see a little flash of pink but mostly it's jeans and a pair of trainers um to leave the skirt at home is what i'm trying to say on occasions that's me that's my uh, that's my pc moment <laughs> kids these these were two pound 49 this alphabet stamps now obviously there's going to be an issue because i bet they're not washable i bet this does not wash off does it say on here actually 
no it recommended they wear overalls or old clothes but we do a lot of art at home um lots of reading writing all that sort of thing and because this is alphabet i thought that would be really fun for them to play with so with adult supervision i must say <laughs> i picked up some bird food for in that uh, feeder but i was actually looking at it since i've come home and i think i've bought the wrong bird food where's that feeder gone hang on <laughs> yeah I've got a suspicion that it'll all just run out because this is very small seed. So I think I'm going to use this in one of my others and I'm going to have to get some different um, feed for this one. Because what does it say? Hang on. Do not overturn. It's not filled to the brim. Top is aligned. No, it doesn't actually recommend a particular bird feed but after i got home i went to sort of do this and i realized that these holes are bigger than the seed that i've bought so mm, i have to get some more feed for this one i picked up bert's favorite treats which is the dental chicken popcorn um and then i got these ones as well which i thought might be a change they're mini steaks prime meaty mini steaks rich in beef um <laughs> We do spoil the dogs, you know that. So we try to keep some extra special treats because these are extra special treats and we keep them around for special occasions. Um, and special occasions could be something like, you know, he's had a fit that day or I need to do something with them and, you know, I need them to be good. So, yeah, I always, whenever I go to B&M, I get them some unusual and different um, little doggy treats. I picked up these. On the weekend, these are skinny noodles, by the way. On the weekend, we, um, sorry, I got distracted then. Stella's calling out in the field. Um, oh, don't know what we're gonna do. We've just gotta let her suffer it, I suppose. But it's, it's so strange because Stella isn't a noisy horse. She's a very, very quiet horse. So to hear her yelling like that is, um, yeah, just makes me look and check and is something going on or something gone wrong, but it is just about Danny, really. Anyway, I picked up these spaghetti noodles. They're skinny spaghetti noodles. They say six calories. I would imagine that's per portion rather than the whole packet. Let's just have a little look. Yeah, per serving is six cows. Um, that is a 70 gram serving. These are 210. So so they're saying that there are three servings in here. Um, so that makes it 6, 12, 18 calories if you want the whole thing. I'm, I've lost my flow, I have. I've completely lost my flow. That's put me off. What I was going to say was on the weekend, I did a big declutter of some clothing and stuff upstairs. We went to the charity shop with 10 bags. I mean, 10 bags of stuff. It sounds awful, but I am a little bit of a hoarder. So, for example, at least five of those bags were full of my husband's things. He is now a size small in a shirt or a jumper or a, because of this crazy eating thing that he does. But he was an extra large at one point and we were, it was all the extra larges we were taking out, basically. Um, I kept saying, no, no, you might regain the weight. I don't think he will. He's really manic about it. He's really obsessed with his weight. So I conceded and said okay let's get rid and I went through some of my things as well and I was laughing because we were we were upstairs talking he was saying to me things like don't I know that dress wasn't that the dress you wore when we went to such and such I was like yes well that's 18 years ago he thought that was really funny that I was producing these things that were so so old and I was explaining to him what I always mean to explain to, I get ladies who say to me, and you read articles and you, you know, you see it everywhere and they say, buy it once, buy real quality. You won't need to buy it again. It'll last a lifetime. Don't spend, you know, 30 quid on a blazer, spend 300 quid on a blazer and you will get the benefits. And I always laugh and say, yep, yeah, that's true. If you are a woman who maintains one weight and one shape, <laughs> I'm somebody who varies. So in the 20 years that I have been with my Nick, I have been as low as a 14, borderline 12, big 12. Um, and I have been as high as a 24. <laughs> 
it's terrible it's terrible i love to eat i have various things going in my life i've had periods where i wasn't able to, to do any exercise whatsoever i've had operations i've had the menopause i you know the whole nine yards i'm on medication that makes you gain weight anyway so my waist, I, it goes up and up and up until eventually I go, no, and I pull it back down by a couple of stone, a couple of dress sizes, and then it goes up and up and up and up. <laughs> so if I was to buy items once and buy them, I would be naked most of the time. <laughs> so I have wardrobes, I have bags, and on the side of it, it has a size. And this sounds awful, I don't know why I'm confessing it to you, but I am confessing it to you so when i gain like now I've, I've gone up to an 18 20 probably more of a 20 than anything else at the moment well all my 16s are too small i am not going to throw those things away i'm not willing to do it so i bag them all up i write on the side size 16 they get put away for a while my weight has fluctuated so massively you know i was going to say all my life but that's not true really since i hit about 40s well since I had the menopause, the, the, the hysterectomy has been a big difference. It's been a big difference, ladies. So, as I say, my weight goes up. So that's why I never, you will never catch me spending 300, 400, 500 pounds on a blazer or a jacket. Or It's not because I think that they're wrong in doing it. And it's not because I don't think they're right. If you can buy something once, buy quality and have it last you 20 years or 30 years, fabulous. It's, it's a brilliant idea. But I don't have that kind of self-control. I just don't. So depending, I'm a comfort eater and emotional eater. So depending on what's going on in my life, my weight is either going up or it's going down. So I am always looking for ways to cut some calories. It allows me to have a slice of cake. So I saw these skinny uh, spaghetti noodles and I thought I would give them a go. <laughs> that was a long way of saying that's what I bought. Last few things, bought the kids the toothbrush each. The other ones have gone, this is a spare. This one is Minions, obviously. They're a pound each. They have the suction cups on the bottom so that they can stand them up next to the sink. I'm constantly replacing their toothbrushes. I think it's quite important. They have a tendency to chew the toothbrush anyway. They end up looking absolutely appalling. So I picked, I actually picked up three different characters um, and this is the spare. Lara is still too little for these ones. These are four to six years. She still has to have the sort of baby ones. But Levi and Milo, so I've got those. I picked up a £2.49 dustpan and brush. I went into the kids um, have a... Um, well, it's like a shed, you know, like a playhouse, wooden playhouse thing that their um, mum and dad got for them. And they also have a little sand pit and various things. And the mess in there, the floor, it was so gritty. But I didn't want to clog up my dustpan and brush. Well, it's the brush more than the dustpan, to be fair, with all the sand and the, the, oh, the muck. The muck they drag in there. So I picked up one of these so it can live in there <laughs> so that when we clean it out we can properly clean it out without having to take the ones that we use in our house um out there i mean two pound 49 why not you know and then the last couple of bits that i picked up were these i've seen these before in white and gray these are a sort of a peachy color um, these are the drawer storage ones these are three for two pounds the two different shapes um they're made by who are they made by they're made by easy storage never heard of easy storage but anyway they're sort of they are plastic but they're squishy plastic i sorted my kitchen drawers out during the period when i wasn't coming on here um, i was filling my life with other little bits just to make myself feel good and i had some white ones of these that i hadn't used and i tried them in the drawers and what a difference what a difference i am not that person who has everything laid out beautifully <laughs> i'm just not um but i did the drawers and i you know and i used the, the few that i had around the house what a difference to my drawers so that's going to be a sort of a long term gradually as i as i clean through as i declutter because i still am um the drawers will get things like this put into them to control the mess that's inside so and i saw that color and thought isn't that nice it's a different color i'll get those <laughs> Anyway, that's it. That's what I got from B&M. B&M was full of nice new things and they're starting to get, obviously, all the garden things out. So I will be going back purely for the garden aisle. But this was more of a, a general wonder 
as well as find some cheap cushions because of Bert. But it's lying on one now. There's no way I'll get it off him. Um, he's not chewing it, thankfully, at the minute. He's just lying on it. So anyway, that was B&M. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed wandering around. Oh, there was one other thing I bought. I picked up this. Again, this is sort of controlling what I do a little bit. So these are wok style soba noodles. This one happens to be the classic. They also do a teriyaki version. I made a mistake and thought that the calories on this were for the whole thing because I mean, I, have you ever seen someone share one of these? But it's not apparently, it is a, a quantity. So I looked at it really quickly in the shop and saw that it was 219 calories. And I thought, that's one portion, isn't it? I mean, who, who shares a pot noodle? But it's not. I have subsequently learned that it's not. It's, it, they have done this silly business. So actually, I, it's a, this makes 180 grams. So it's actually double that. So it's actually 440 calories which makes it not that good an idea so I won't be buying them again I will probably use them because you know waste not one although I could just send them to um the food bank couldn't I when my food bank thing goes through um when I take it because I would only have eaten them because I thought they were very low calorie but 400 you goodness me you can do a lot of food for 400 calories so I'm a bit annoyed at myself and I'm just a little bit annoyed at the way that they've done it because why say? I mean, honestly, let me know, girls. Have you ever seen anybody make one of these and then and then split it between two people? I, I never have, but there we go. So now that is it this time. Um, <laughs> my Lakiro has arrived, and I'm going to have to do that. Um, I may try and do it later in the day because Lakiro, they're always like, you need to check out. You need to check out. So that's it. I'm off. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all happy and I hope you're all coping with uh, everything that's going on at the moment. Isn't it just, I don't know, the world's gone mad this last few years. Either that or it's because I'm old now, I find the world that bit more. Mm. But I, know, I, I think it is. It's kind of a crazy time. I mean, my daughter, my eldest daughter, see, I should have gone, but my eldest daughter, um, you know, she's in New York. Well, her husband when they got to New York, applied for a work permit. And there's been no sign of it. They went out in May, I think it was, May. Um, there's been no sign of this work permit. And in fact, some people in America, some other nationalities, British and, and so on, actually sort of sued or, or went to court about this because, you know, it's a long time to wait for a visa that you are perfectly entitled to. And they actually won their class action. Um, so what's been happening is they've been waiting, they've been nagging, they've been waiting, they've been nagging. Where is it? Where is it? I mean, it doesn't matter to uh, my daughter whether he works. Because um, as she said, you know, he's gone out there with her for her career. You know, it, it, he is supporting her in her career. The last thing she could be doing is going, well, why aren't you working? But he's the kind of guy that wants to work, you know. He doesn't want to sit at home and be a kept man. So anyway, um, somebody noticed, somebody went to um, either Mexico or uh, somewhere. And when they came back into America, they had the correct visa. And it was announced on, I think it was Reddit and various places. And it percolated back to my daughter. And she said, we're going to try it, mum. We're absolutely going to try it because, you know, he's going crazy that he can't work. So they flew to Puerto Rico for the weekend they didn't even have a whole day in Puerto Rico because she just doesn't have the time to have a holiday right now. But And it was the nearest and quickest that they could do. So she fl they flew to Puerto Rico, <laughs> checked into a hotel, went to bed, had a sleep, got up the next morning, had a little bit of a wander, got back on the plane and flew back to America. And he now has the correct visa. So it's brilliant i mean it's a shame that it's cost them even more money to get it but it does mean that he can get out and about find something he wants to do um and you know pursue his career too which is only fair isn't it so yeah so it's it, i don't know how i got onto that i don't know it's been a funny weekend with lots going on basically <laughs> and i'm trying to keep it all in here and it's not working and i like to tell my friends so there we go i'm off and i will see you really soon Bye, guys. <laughs>